Alright boys and welcome back to another vanilla base design. Not gonna lie, this base is an absolute bear. In total, we've got three roof bunkers around an open core, and one of those bunkers leads to our TC. If you boys like what you see, go ahead and leave a like on this one and drop me a sub. This one's a big base, so there won't be a full tour. However, this base is available for you to load in on Builder Sanctuary using this code. While you're there, feel free to drop it a like. Before we jump into the mini tour, I want to break down the costs and upkeep. First of all, on screen is the total build cost, which includes the base, every deployable inside, and the outer TCs and compound. To make the cost easier to visualize, here it is in box amounts. So this is how many boxes of each material you'll need to build the base. The upkeep is reduced as there are four TCs that maintain the base. So this is how much mats you'll need to keep the base alive for 24 hours. Finally, I don't want to speculate, raid costs can fluctuate depending on certain factors. However, there are three armored bunkers and a lot of places to spread loot. So let me know down in the comments your best raid cost. And without further ado, let's jump into the tour. The peaks area is scattered with deployables, turrets, and it also gives access to all of your bunkers. Each bunker can be opened with a twig roof, and each bunker can be shot by breaking that twig roof. One of the three bunkers leads to your TC and main loot. There's also space for six bags so everyone can spawn down here. The third floor houses the beds, the boxes and the lockers so you can re-kit. It's also right next to the peak dance floor so you can go out and defend your base as quickly as possible. In total this open core includes 30 boxes, 6 turrets and 3 furnaces. The peak down floor is accessed by jumping on top of the turret and heading up the ladder hatch. From here a triangle roof takes us up to peaks or we can use this to peak down. From here the base is filled with a mix of stable peak downs. And not to worry, each bunker can be closed from the peak downs floor. As for the shooting floor, there are multiple different ways to roof camp someone. We have the standard multi-TC gaps, windows all the way around the base, then we have roof slant peaks that allow us to look onto our front door and our external TC. These peak ups are for shooting heli, and behind each ramp are some siren lights that you can use to peek onto your roof. Finally, the roof is guarded by three turrets, six roof peak ups and the base is honeycombed in the center. To summarize this base has battlements to defend, an open core to store and sort loot easily and three roof bunkers to bump up the offline raid cost. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you boys how to build this one. This is how big the base is going to get so keep that in mind when you're picking a spot to build. Also there are raised foundations and low foundations so make sure you build in a flat spot. First of all we're going to be building the starter base. Once you find a nice flat spot to build you can put the starter footprint down. Start by placing a triangle really low to the ground and then from there we're going to place a raised square. Then you can place a triangle and then two squares. Complete the footprint by filling it in with triangles. For now you can break your lower triangle and then upgrade all of this to stone. Pick one square to have your door and you can add in a frame. Then from there you can wall in all the squares. Upgrade all your walls to stone and then add a roof. You can upgrade the entire roof to stone as well. Put your TC in the right hand side square and then place frames everywhere else. Then you can place in all your doors, bags and boxes. It's super important that you do lock the TC. That completes the starter base, from here you can start farming up for your main. Next up, we're going to be building all of our externals. Once you're ready to continue, come outside and face the two sets of triangles. From here you can place a low square, a low triangle, and then a raised triangle. Upgrade the two triangles, and break your square. You can add walls on either side to connect them, and upgrade these to stone. Repeat that on the other two sides. Next we're going to place our outer TCs. To kick off the external TCs, we're going to build out seven squares from your front door. Once you've placed 7 squares, you can add a triangle on the end. Then you can go ahead and break all of your squares. Once your squares are gone, you can build back with triangle half moons. This is the shape we're looking for. We want a hexagon with a missing triangle at the front door. You can go ahead and keep this hexagon and break everything behind it. Then you can go ahead and break the triangle on the right and lower it. Once you've done that, you can upgrade all of your triangles to stone. This section of the base is going to be decaying until we connect it to a TC, so let's do that. Build away with 5 squares. At the end of the 5th square, we're going to add in a row of triangles. Then you can break the fifth square and upgrade everything else. Place your TC in the left hand side triangle, then add a roof and window in front. In the middle we're going to add a half wall, add a full wall on top. Then to the side we'll add in another window, and then half walls on top of your windows. Then you can place a roof at the top. Finally you can add in a wall, a roof, and a door frame. Place a roof off of your square to connect over and upgrade to stone. 
Then from the inside, we're gonna place a triangle and make sure you connect it to the roof. You'll know if you've done it right if your triangle looks like this. This is how the triangle would look if you've done it wrong. Then you can place in your doors and windows and lock your DC. Now you need to repeat those steps on the other two sides. Make sure you remember to lower this triangle on the right. Keep in mind that these TCs are disconnectable, so if you need to replace your TC in core, then just soft side this triangle and this TC will no longer connect to the roof and everything behind it. Next, we're going to be connecting our shell and making our airlocks. Next, we need to close up the gaps inside our footprint. From your external TC, we're going to place two triangles. The side with your lower triangle needs to have a high square and the side with your high triangle needs to have a low square. Upgrade your squares to stone and break the triangle. Then you can add half walls on your lower squares to connect them. Some of these foundations will decay until they get walls on them, so we need to quickly build our airlocks and our shell. Start on the hexagon and we're gonna place a single door in the middle. Then you can place a window to the left and then you can wall in the triangle on the right. This triangle is going to honeycomb our bunker, that's why it's getting walled off. In between you can add in two door frames, and then add roofs all the way along. Upgrade all of this stuff to stone, and then build your other two airlocks. Once you've made all your airlocks, go ahead and throw in some doors and windows. Then you can add walls all the way around your shell, and you can upgrade all of these walls to stone. The honeycombing on the outside can get filled in at any point, so just leave them until you're ready. Next, we're going to start building the compound and placing down our furnaces. To start building our compound, we need to build our compound separators. Off of each outer square, we're going to place two more squares, and you can upgrade the first one to stone, and leave this one twig. It's okay if some of these aren't lower squares, it's just to build the compound, it's not that important. Once you've got all your squares down, we're going to place frames. Make sure these frames face in towards the triangle in the middle. Just like that. Upgrade your frames to stone, and once both of your frames are down, you can break this final square. And you can do that to the other two sides. Now that those are made, we need to make the gatehouses, and then we can complete our compound. To build your gatehouse, make your way over to your external TC, and walk to the third square. From the third square, we're going to place another square on the left and right and you can upgrade these to stone. In the top right, we're gonna have a single door, and in the bottom left, we'll have a single door. Place frames in between, and windows in the gaps. Then you can add a roof on top, and upgrade everything to stone. Then you can place in all of your doors and windows. Place embrasures in the left and right, windows in the back and front, then you can add in your doors, and then we're gonna place in our shop front with a bumper sticking out the way, so that we can fit a box up against it and another shop front but this time bumper in the way and then that completes your gatehouse you can go ahead and do that to the other two sides once everything's built we can start placing our compound walls make your way over to your gatehouse and we're going to connect the gatehouse to the compound separator with the high wall then place high walls next to each of your other gatehouses once you've done that you can add two high walls in the middle to connect them Then add barricades on top of your gates. Stand on the raised triangle and push the furnace as far back as you can. Then do the same thing to the other two sides. Finally add a shop front facing Finally add in a couple shop fronts. Finally you can add in your shop fronts. Finally you can add in your shop fronts and doors. If people can crouch under your doors, add in a barricade. That completes the compound for the base. Start cooking up some metal and try and recycle for some high coal. Next, we're going to be doing some upgrading to the base and the external TCs. Come inside the core and break all of the doors. Then you can upgrade all the foundations to armoured and all the back walls to the squares to armoured. Then upgrade the roof to armoured and then you can upgrade all the remaining walls to armoured as well. Finally, upgrade your frames to metal. Then you can upgrade your raised foundations to armoured. Then you can upgrade all the foundations inside the core and around the shell to metal. You can also upgrade your outer raised triangles to metal as well. Then you can upgrade the foundations leading to the gatehouse to metal. In order to upgrade the external TC, we're going to upgrade the foundation, the walls around the TC, and the roof above. You can also upgrade this intersection, the roof that connects, and the foundation the roof sits on. You can also upgrade this front wall, and the middle foundation. And that completes the upgrades for your outer TC. Go ahead and do that to the other two. Then we're going to upgrade all the walls except for our airlock to metal. That completes all the upgrades for the base and from here on out we're going to be building everything in its final upgrade phase. Next up we're going to be building all of our bunkers. Once you're ready to continue add metal half walls inside your low triangles. Then add floors on top of all your open triangles. Then you can place an armoured triangle in the middle of your hexagon. 
From your airlock, we're going to place an armoured wall on the left and a metal roof on the right. Repeat those steps on the other two airlocks. The triangle next to your roof can get walled in. And then you can add a woof. And then you can add a... <coughs> And then you can add a roof on top of all those triangles. Beside your honeycomb in, we're going to add in another armoured wall. Then we can turn these two triangles into honeycombing. And then you can add floors on top of them. Inside the missing square, we're going to place in a floor. Make sure you clip the floor to this half wall. Upgrade this floor to metal and double check that you've got a gap down this side. Once you've placed in your floor, place in a ramp as low as possible to the ground. Then you can use an electrical component to get out. Next we're going to add a roof to our bunker, clip the roof to this square, and then clip the second triangle to this triangle. Then you can place in your wall. Finally, place in your roof. If your wall disappears, then you've done the bunker correctly and you're good to upgrade everything. Come inside and you can upgrade your wall, and you can upgrade your triangles above. Repeat those steps on the remaining two bunkers. And this is what the base should look like once all your bunkers are complete. Feel free to add a shelf on the inside, but make sure you are inside your bunker when building it because adding this half wall will break the bunker and you don't want to accidentally lock yourself outside. Next, we're gonna be raising up the shell and the core. In order to build the second layer of the shell, we need to finish off the honeycombing on the outside. Wrap your lower foundations in stone half walls, then add a stone floor on top. Then you can add in stone walls to complete. Honeycomb the triangle with metal walls and your squares with stone. Once you've added in all your honeycombing, add floors on top. Now we can add a second level of shell around our base. The squares next to your metal ramps are going to become bedroom. Wall them in and add a frame and then place in your beds however you'd like. You also need to include the metal triangle that sticks out. We're going to place a turret here and use it to get up to our peaks. This square can also be walled in. However, place a wall in front because we're not going to use it for anything. Leave out your airlock, we're not going to wall that in. And then just repeat those steps all the way around. These are all the twig walls that you need to place in. Upgrade all the squares to stone and then everything else to metal. And then you can upgrade all the other walls to metal. You can add frames next to your triangles. And then you can wall in the entire core with metal walls. And then you can put one more time with metal walls again. Inside the core, place in a wall and a half floor. Then you can add in a roof at half height. Then you can break the walls and add half walls in the middle. At the top of the half walls, place in a ladder hatch frame, and then upgrade all of this stuff to metal. Add in walls on the left and right, then we're going to need a half triangle, and then you can break the half wall and add a door frame in front. Upgrade your airlock to metal and add in a door and a ladder hatch. Next up, we're going to be building our peak downs. Once you've built up your core, you can match the height with the shell. When adding in these walls, we're going to include the triangles and this time miss out the squares. However, on the squares, we can add in frames. All this new twig can get upgraded to metal. Once you've upgraded all that stuff to metal, we can start working on our peak downs. Place metal squares along all of your frames. Then we need to go on top of our bedrooms and place in a half floor. And then we can use that half wall to place a half floor inside. In order for the peak downs to work, there needs to be a gap towards this wall. To half floor underneath your squares all the way along the base. We're going to use these twig squares to build our ramp peak downs. Do not upgrade them and there should be six of them in total. Once you're ready to continue, place a low ramp on top of the first square. And a high ramp on top of the second. Do that all the way along. Once all your ramps are placed in, you can upgrade all of your ramps to metal. Once you've metaled all of your ramps, you can break the twig underneath them. And then we're going to place in a metal frame underneath our ramp. This time making sure the gap is to this side of the base. Place a ladder hatch frame inside this triangle. Add a triangle ladder hatch. For just now, use a twig floor to get up, but do not upgrade this. On top of your twig triangle, we're going to add in half walls. And you can upgrade these to metal. Only once you've placed in all of your ramps, your half walls, can you break this and add in a metal triangle roof. Leave the triangle roof till last because it blocks the placement of a lot of different things. Now we're going to fill in the gaps in the peaks. Go ahead and place in a triangle halfway down and upgrade it to metal. Then come on top of your airlock and we're going to place a full wall and a half wall. Then you can place in some triangles and we're going to use those triangles to place in our peaks. When you're placing in this triangle make sure you connect it to the back wall and you'll know you've done it right if there's a gap in between. Once you have your triangles looking like mine, you can upgrade them to metal, and then do that to the other two sides. Once they're placed in, you can break the twig outside, and this is what the base should look like once you've got all those placed in. Finally, come on top of your bunkers, and we're gonna place a frame on top, 
and then a window frame. Upgrade your window frame to metal and make sure you break this frame and do not upgrade it because it does in fact break your bunker. Same on this side, we're gonna place a roof coming off. Make sure there's a gap in front of your feet and then you'll be able to place in a frame and a window. Upgrade the window, break the frame. However, it's good to place a frame in between and a half hole on top for stability. Repeat that on the other two sides. Once you've gotten all your windows placed in, that does in fact complete the peak downs. Next up, we're gonna build the shooting floor and finish off the inner peaks. Once you're ready to continue, you can start working on the shooting floor. Add a triangle on top of all your ladder hatches. Then you can use these triangles to place a roof halfway up the wall. On these sides, connect your triangles to the left and right, making sure you have a gap down the middle. And then you can upgrade those to metal. Then you can go all the way around the perimeter with windows. If you don't have stability to place in these windows, double check that you place the frame and half wall underneath. And if you did, you should be able to place the left one and then the right one. Once you've placed in all of your windows, you can upgrade them all to stone. Then from your ramps, we're gonna place in some frames. And finally, the triangles above your ladder hatch can also get frames. Then you can add in walls to separate your peaks and shooting floor. All of these new walls can get upgraded to metal. Next, from your front door, we're going to place half walls. You can use this space for furnaces or just add in a triangle floor. Then you can add frames on top. And one in the middle. Upgrade all of this stuff to stone. Once you've added in your three airlocks, you can add walls in between. Add metal triangles on top of your airlocks and a metal floor on top of your core. Then you can add a metal floor on top of your peaks. Finally, you can place in your doors and windows. And once you've added all of those in, that completes the shooting floor. Next up, we're gonna be working on the roof of the base. Upgrade the triangle above your airlock to wood. And if you see this stone at any point, it's because I messed up, so just ignore it. On this side, you can also add a row of triangles and upgrade those to stone. Make sure your floors above the airlock look like this and they have gaps down the sides. I intentionally left the six squares till last because we're gonna build a roof peak up there. Place in a frame wherever you can next to your square. Then you can place in a ladder hatch frame, a low wall facing into the base and half walls all the way around. Upgrade all this stuff to stone and then you can add a stone floor on top. On the inside, you can place in a low siren light and then some higher ones pretty close to the left and right. Double check that you've got a nice height. You can pick these up and replace them as many times as you'd like. Go ahead and build five more of these all the way around. Once you've built all of your peak ups, you can go ahead and wall in your triangles. Add a half height triangle so we can use a turret and then place a frame in front. Add in a roof and upgrade all this stuff to stone. Then do that to the other two sides. Now that your airlocks are built, you can soft side out your wooden triangle. Replace your triangle with a ladder hatch and have it point down to create an airlock. Then you can place metal triangles on the sides of your airlocks. Then you can have metal roofs on top of your peacups. Once you've added all of those in, add in some metal triangle roofs on the sides. Honeycomb the core of the base with some stone, and then you have a perfect place to land a scrap helicopter. To section off the roof and to cover up these gaps, I like to place in concrete barricades. Add in some turrets and some doors and then that completes the roof. Next I'm going to show you boys how to design the open core. The open core is super simple to build so don't let it worry you. In order to build the open core we're going to place a half wall inside each of the triangles. Then you can place two triangles on top and upgrade those to metal. Then you can add two more triangles above that. And upgrade those to metal as well. Break the half walls underneath and now we can start placing in our boxes. Place a low wall in front. Place the first box up against the low wall and then a second box to the side. Then you can add in your last low wall. Same on this side. Then you can add low walls all the way around the center triangle. Make sure you shut all your guards doors first. And now we're gonna try and place four boxes inside each of the squares. Then we're gonna try and place four boxes inside each of the squares. If you're cool, then you'll get it first time. Then we're gonna place three furnaces inside the middle triangle. and you can use these to jump up to your ladder hatch. Next, we're gonna place turrets in the back corners of these triangles, and then you can place in boxes to the left and right. Finally, a small box in the middle. Finally, do the same thing on the top triangles, except leave out the small box. And that completes the open core loot room. 
I really recommend that you let the teammate who has skins to build this loot room because it'll come out looking a lot nicer. And once you've done that, that completes the base design. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys could leave a like on it, that'd be brilliant. And also drop me a sub, that'd be awesome. I worked super hard on this one and I really wanted to try and get it out before four swipe. So if it seems a little bit rushed, that's why. As per usual, if you guys have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Or if you join my Discord, I should be able to respond faster. Once again, I want to remind you guys that I have made a Twitch and I'm going to start streaming soon. So if you guys could follow that too, that'd be great. And with all that out of the way, I'll see you boys next time.